Our lab today is about the red blood cell count, which means the number of red blood cells per unit volume of the whole blood. The aim of, uh, of this test is to determine whether there, there is an ad adequate number of red blood cells in the circulation or not. We will start with the normal value of red blood cell. The red blood cell count in adult male is uh, in average between 4.5 uh, to 6.5 uh, million per cubic millimeter and in adult female is between 3.8 to 5.8 million per cubic millimeter. Now we should ask a question, why the normal value in adult male is more than that in female? And the answer of this question is uh, the presence of three factors. First factor, the presence of hormone androgen in male, which is uh, known as uh, an stimulator for the process of, uh, of erythrobiosis, which is the process of production of uh, RBC. The second cause, the presence of a large uh, muscle mass in male that need more oxygen. And in addition to, to the fact that uh, the female lose uh, an amount of blood uh, during the menstrual cycle each month. All these th three factors justify uh, the, the, uh, the, that uh, the normal value of the male is higher than uh, of female. When there is a reduction in the number of red blood cells below the normal value, this condition is called anemia. Uh, or erythropenia. We should know that the term anemia is a general term that can occur from either a decrease in the number of red blood cells or a decrease in the hemoglobin or content or both. The causes of anemia is either massive RBC loss such as an acute hemorrhage or abnormal destruction of red blood cells. So, uh, this is called hemolysis and this is, there is multiple causes multiple causes that uh, lead to this, this um, process. Third cause is the lack of substance needed for the production of RBC, such as iron or vitamin B12. The most common type is the iron deficiency anemia. Uh, fourth cause is the bone marrow suppression. The bone marrow is the site of production of red blood cell and any suppression of any kind lead to anemia. An example of bone marrow suppression is the uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy treatment of malignancies. The final cause is the chronic disease. When there is increase in the number of red blood cell uh, count, this is called polycythemia or erythrocytosis. There is two types of polycythemia, physiological polycythemia and pathological polycythemia. Uh, the uh, example for the physiological uh, polycythemia is the people who live in high attitude because um, uh, there is low uh, oxygen concentration in the atmosphere and this leads to hypoxia which stimulates the production of more RBC. So the increase in the number of red blood cells is to, to uh, compensate the low concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere. The same mechanism is occurring in the smoker who, uh, who have an uh, RBC count uh, uh, more than that of non-smoker uh, people. The pathological reason for uh, polycythemia is divided into type. Primary, which called polycythemia vera. Vera means a true polycythemia uh, because it is caused by uh, bone marrow disease of unknown origin. There is no uh, real physiological need for this augmentation in the number of red blood cells, but and disease in the site of the production of RBC, which is the bone marrow, cause the polycythemia vera, which considered as a primary uh, cause. The secondary polycythemia occur in response to hypoxia, uh, such as uh, that occur, which occur in uh, in lung disease in adult or uh, in congenital heart disease in children. Now we should ask a question: Why we are uh, so afraid from this uh, increase in uh, in the number of red blood cells? The red blood cell do a great job in transport of the gases. Uh, uh, from the lung to the tissue. The, uh, 
The problem with this uh, with the polycythemia is uh, that very high RBC mass will slow the blood velocity, so increase the risk of intravascular clotting, and which lead to thrombosis and embolism, which uh, which can uh, lead to a very serious problem. So we should um, diagnose this condition early and uh, to uh, and treat it to prevent the complication. The reticulocyte count measure the number of reticulocytes, which are the immature form of erythrocyte that circulating in the blood stream. The normal range of this reticulocyte count uh, in percent to the total number of RBC is between 0.5 to 1.5 percent in adult male uh, and uh, 0.5 to 2.5 in adult female. Uh, this uh, test will give us uh, an, uh, uh, an idea about the function of the bone marrow and if the bone marrow is able to respond to the, uh, uh, to the need for increased uh, red, red, cell, uh, red blood cell production. So, in case of high reticulocyte count, this indicates that the bone marrow is responding to the need of increased red blood cell production, such as in case of recently whole blood donation. When we donor blood, uh, we will stimulate the bone marrow to produce a newly uh, formed RBC, which is uh, the uh, reticulocyte. Uh, also, in case of treatment of anemia, uh, while uh, in case of low reticulocyte count, this, this indicates either bone marrow failure or deficiency in the factors that, uh, that are necessary for the production of RBC, such as the folic acid. الآن راح نتكلم عن الطرق اللي راح نستخدمها حتى نسوي فحص ال RBC count. We have two two method. Manual method. الطريقة اليدوية والelectronic cell counting اللي هي automatic وراح نأخذها بالمختبرات الجاية. اليوم راح نتحدث عن manual method اللي مفروض تسويها بالمختبر. الأدوات الinstrument اللي راح نستخدمها حتى uh, نعمل RBC count test هي uh, أول أداة هي RBC count pipette خليت لكم جنبها white blood cell count pipette حتى تفرقون بيناتها الفرق بيناتها إنه المستودع اللي نستخدمه حتى uh, نسوي dilution لل blood sample يكون أكبر بحالة RBC count pipette uh, than that of white blood cell count pipette ليش؟ لأن العدد ال RBC أكبر بكثير من الوايت بلاسل فالديليوشن راح يكون أكبر إضافة إلى أنه عندنا بالسنتر موجود عندي الميكسينج بيد اللي راح تسوي لي مزج لل بلاد سامبل مع الديليوشن سوليوشن يكون الكلر مالتها ريد أو بينما بالوايت بلاد سيل كاونت باي بيت يكون الكلر مالتها وايت اذا هذه الانسترومنت الاولى الانسترومنت الثانيه هي النيو بار تشامبر نيو بار تشامبر هو المكان اللي راح نحسب به الار بي سي كاونت وهو هذا اللي على شكل مربعات موضح بهاي الصوره راح نستخدمه نخلي البلاد سامبل بهذا المكان بعدين نخلي الكفر سلايد شكله تحت المجهر راح يكون بهذا الشكل المكان اللي راح نحسب به الار بي سي هو هذا المكان اللي بالسنتر بعدين على عدسه مكبره راح يكون شكلها بهذا الشكل وراح نحسب عدد كريات الدم الموجوده ونستخدم معادله معينه حتى يطلع عندي الار بي سي كاونت شكلها بالضبط تحت المجهر راح يكون بهذا الشكل والطالب المفروض يعدها مانيوال يحسب كل مربع ايش قد بي ويجمعها عندنا معادلة معينة قلنا نطلع من عندها النتيجة تقل تيست وبعدين نقارنها بالنورمال فاليو ونقرر إذا المريض عنده مشكلة عنده أنيميا أو عنده بوليسايتيميا أو الريزلت مالته تكون نورمال